All right, y'all. We had a uh, company reach out and uh, want to know if we'd want to test out one of their products and give them a review on it. Uh, and this is actually something that I uh, I have uh, looked at in the past. So I'm like, yeah, let's sure, let's go. So let's uh, get this thing unboxed and. see what's in here so I mean I know what's in it show you guys what they sent us so it is a cordless inflator uh, sink wire like I said I've looked at these before uh, so let's uh, get this thing out of the box out of its box and uh, we'll see uh, See exactly what we got. All right, y'all. Let's uh, open this here box and uh, see what we got. I well, we got a looks like a little carrying bag. We got some instruction books and we got the uh, well pack. I'll tell you that. There's the uh, tool itself. Got a little accessory package there. So, looks like we got a uh, an adapter for. I don't know what all the adapters are for. Um, oh, that one looks like it's screw on style. And then we got the uh, uh, like football inflator, basketball inflator, and a couple bulk ones. So, and then, oh, here's the hose. Maybe. Trying to do this one-handed. Oh, we got a uh, charger for it. You can charge it off your vehicle auxiliary port, and fairly decently long little hose there. So that's probably 18 inches or so. So, all right, let's get this thing out of its bag. All right. I haven't read the instructions or anything on it, but. Uh, Looks like we got a power button. Uh, thing does have a light on it. So. And I'm guessing that these two buttons here. Well, let's see here. Uh, decrease pressure, increase pressure, wake up, start button, LED light, um, switch mode. Um, let's see. Current. Uh, Current pressure displayed, that would be what's in the tire or whatever you're inflating currently. Um, the pressure unit, uh, pressure display, USB out, oh, and a battery indicator. So, oh, this thing has USB uh, hookups. Type C and a regular USB. Oh, and there's where our little hose goes on, right there and a little light and the 12 volt uh, power feed or power charging port so all right um let me read the instructions on this thing and uh we'll bring you all back all right y'all um i figured out how to turn this thing on you just you press and hold there you go and then this is the uh current uh pressure in a tire this is what the machine set at set at 36 that's kind of default you just you can go up or down whichever way you want to uh you know uh, set the pressure you want in your tire and then this one oh it's not uh okay there you go and then uh She came with a half a battery charge. Um, this button sets your uh, what mode. Uh, that's like automotive, uh, like a bicycle tire, motorcycle tire. Um, well, that would be a bicycle tire there, I guess. I guess I haven't read the instructions, uh, but uh, that looks like a basketball of some sort. And then, uh, I guess, air inflator. <laughs> All right, well, we're heading to the tractor pulls today, so 
we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this with us. Uh, we'll throw it on charge. And I did notice it come with an extra, like you plug it into a charging cube. It's got the uh, C port on there. So, and then uh, this one here for the like car for your one driving down the road. Of course, you know the accessory pack you've seen. But they also sent us four little uh, valve stem caps. So that's cool. So I'm going to get this thing uh, put in the truck and uh, we're going to head to the tractor pole. So we'll do a little video when we get there. All right, y'all. Uh, made it down here to the poles. Uh, we're going to hook the uh, air compressor inflator. We're going to hook that up to the uh, tire and uh, we're going to check the air pressure in it. So uh, I need two hands to do it. So uh, let me get that done. We'll bring you right back. All right, y'all. I got the uh, compressor hooked up. It says we're at 9.3. I like to be at 7. So uh, I'm going to let some air out and then we'll uh, uh, air it back up to the 7 PSI. So let me uh, get some air out of this tire and we'll turn her on and work her. All right, y'all. Got it down to about 5 pounds or 6 pounds. So let's. Uh, Turn it on. Oh, sorry, turned it off. Oh, now we gotta take her back down here. Push and hold. Seven. Well, that didn't take much, so. We're going to go around and check the other side and uh, see how we do in there. All right, y'all, we're at my daily job. We got a uh, Ford Transit van here that uh, has a completely flat tire. So you can see it has zero PSI in it. So we're going to set this thing. I don't know how, exactly how much is supposed to go in it, but we're going to set it for 50 PSI. And it says do not run this for more than 10 minutes straight. So. We're going to see if it'll uh, air this thing up in less than 10 minutes. So, here we go. at the 10 minute mark um, I probably could have put the external power cord on it but I don't have it with me but the uh, battery is on its uh, warning that it's low but it did it so uh, and it's not too warm I, I picked it up during the charging or during the you know airing it up and uh, yeah it uh, it did it so not real fast but it did it so all right well uh, test it out on another tire here sometime all right y'all we're gonna put this little uh, thing to the test again uh, we got a uh, 265 70 17 um, you can see it is dead flat on the ground so we're gonna hook her up and it is dead flat I'll turn her on. Push and hold. There we go. Got it set on the car setting. And we're going to take this one up to 45. Just because. That's where I want to set it at. There it is. And... Oh. y'all uh, I went ahead and bumped it up to 50 I didn't get it shutting off but it was less than 10 minutes 
Um, that's a nice thing about this is you hook it up, you set it, forget it, you walk away from it, and uh, it'll sit there and air it up, and you can go about your business. So that's awesome. Doing a great job with all this stuff. All right, y'all. We've been using the sink wire uh, inflator here for a couple weeks, probably two and a half weeks, something like that. Um, you've seen a couple of the big jobs I did, those two, uh, the truck tire and the van tire that was completely dead flat. This thing worked flawlessly. Um, I'm really impressed with the size of this thing. Uh, worked great for the pulling tractors. Uh, I also used it on a couple lawn and garden tractor tires just to top them off, uh, bring them up to pressure. Uh, just some a bicycle, a couple bicycles I think. Works flawless. Um, great addition to like you know throw it in your vehicle you know have it just in case you know you're out somewhere and you get a low tire there's not much free air around anymore uh, but uh, you know this put tire air your tire up anytime you need to um, I did not use it on like blowing up an air mattress or anything like that but from what I can see from the you know blowing up them truck tires and van tires this thing will do the job um, great little battery pack on it you know battery life so I'm impressed um, you all need to go out there and get you one uh, there'll be a link down in the description of it so uh, if you would just uh, go over there and uh, give these people a try appreciate you all and uh, catch you on the next video